Hey guys, so just in a couple of days, Apple will be releasing the next major update to the iPhone, iOS 17.5, and I'm sure most iPhone users are going to want to update. But before you update, I've been testing the software since beta 1, and I wanted to share with you guys a few things you may want to know before you decide to update to Apple's next major release. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So some of the most popular questions are going to be, how's battery life? How's the performance? Is there any bugs? Is there any issues I need to know about? And that's what I want to talk about in today's video and I want to start off with a bug that still persists within iOS 17.5 and that is an alarm issue with an iPhone. Now if you've ever set an alarm on your iPhone and it doesn't go off or the volume is really low you're not alone. Apple has acknowledged that there's still an issue with alarms on iPhone so if you're having issues with setting your alarms and they don't go off or if they do go off the sound is too low for you to hear it you're not alone on this one. Again Apple has acknowledged that this is still an issue with an iOS 17. And now the next thing I want to talk about is Wi-Fi because I know a lot of you guys want to know about the Wi-Fi connection. Is it persistent? Is it better? And unfortunately, I don't have good news. Last night, I filmed or screen recorded this iPhone when it was connected to my Wi-Fi network. See right there, the check mark is connected to Wi-Fi, but right there, it is running on 5G. So it disconnected automatically from Wi-Fi. And in order to get it to reconnect, what I had to do was turn off the Wi-Fi and turn it back on. And that way the iPhone will recognize that it is connected to Wi-Fi. So there it is, it is still connected, still running on 5G. I turned it off, turned it back on, and then it recognizes, you'll see there in a few seconds, I will turn it off and then turn it back on and then it will connect to Wi-Fi. But it was already connected to Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi connection, there's still issues with an iOS 17.5. Again, that was a screen recording last night when I was just browsing on my iPhone and I've noticed that the connection was slightly lower and that was because Wi-Fi wasn't working on my iPhone. I was running off of 5G and 5G network here is just not the best. So I've noticed that the Wi-Fi has just randomly disconnected while the iPhone thought it was also connected to Wi-Fi. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is battery life because I know a lot of you guys are asking in regards to battery life and I have to say it hasn't been the best. Now, I do have my YouTube community poll here where you guys also provide feedback on how the software is running for you. And as we take a look here at one of the most popular comments on the latest, right there it is, I noticed that battery drains faster since updating to beta one. I charge one, two or three times a day. That is one of the most popular comments and I have to say I agree my experience has been the same so if I go here into my battery you see that my iPhone is dying quite often and I find myself charging in between as you can see right there you see the red dots that means it's charging it discharge and then charge it back up so yeah two times to three times a day sometimes having to charge my iPhone and that's been the case since beta 3 for iOS 17.5 unfortunately right now the battery life on this software just hasn't been the best. Now, in regards to battery health, I know a lot of you guys always ask, and I have to say when I started testing 17.5, I was at 96% battery health maximum capacity. Right now, I'm in 92, and that is because I have to charge my iPhone so many times, the battery is draining so quickly that the battery health has also taken an impact with the testing of the beta for iOS 17.5, which is kind of crazy. Now, another thing I want to talk about is overheating. I did experience overheating one time in beta 2, also on iPad OS, but after that, I did not encounter any overheating with iOS 17.5, so only one time. And I've noticed that some of you guys continue to report overheating, especially when charging your iPhones. If you do encounter overheating, I would like to know in those comments down below. Let me know which device you're using and when that overheating prompt is hitting you on your device. So iOS 17.5, a major update. This one is coming in the next couple of days with great new features if you want to see the entire list of features i'll link my follow-up in the description down below so you can check out the new features but before you update these are going to be some of the issues that i've run into some of you guys as well and things you may want to know before you click that update button once apple releases 17.5 thank you for watching this quick update guys and i'll see you on the next one peace